Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off in our last episode yesterday with this brand new team. And you can see on your screen right in front of you, we put the nominations into the Wheel of Fortune and this is what we ended up with in yesterday's episode. So just to recap the team, as always, it's down in the description below if you would like to check it out and for some reason, some fun reason, try it out. If you do try it out, of course, let me know how you get on with it, what you think of the team. But as we're going to recap it before we get into anything, we've got the Chimeco, we've got Sylvian, Articuno, Tapu Bulu, the Necrozma, the original Necrozma, and the Tyranitar. On paper, it looks an incredible team. And we got off to not a bad start yesterday, didn't we? We were one and one at the moment. So if you missed yesterday's episode, you'd like to go and check that out before coming into this one. There's a card up there for you. You can check out our progress yesterday. There was two really good games, and we saw Chimeco do some incredible work in game one yesterday. So Hopefully we can continue that success on today. Thank you so much for all of the support that we've had so far on the video, the comments and everything and all the nominations and new nominations will be going up in tomorrow, around tomorrow's episode. So keep an eye out for that. I'll post, I'll let you know in the video when that is up so you can go and get your nominations in for next week. Um, and remember tomorrow's episode will be when we can activate our bonus buttons. We still have those in the bank. We've got the legend maker, the switch up and the randomizer. So like Pinko said in our, in our video yesterday, he left a nice comment saying you probably activate all three buttons right now. But I want to ask you guys, going into tomorrow's episode, what button, if one or two or three, would you like to see activated in tomorrow's episode? And we'll see what we can do to get one or maybe more of those activated to switch a few things up in the team going forward. But without further ado, the music is on. We are ready to go. So we'll just jump into it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent today and uh, we can get straight into this. I'm feeling good though. I'm really, in I really do love the team. Um, I, like, I know it's not, it's not cohesive. It's not generically a good team on paper. You wouldn't take this to a tournament, but you might, if you want to have a good time, you would definitely have a good time with this. I'm just hoping one thing we can get going today is that Articuno. Um, the calm, uh, the mind reader with the sheer called tailwind set, I think could be, could be pretty good and it'll be a lot of fun if we can get it going today. So that's my one big hop. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. We are on a terrible rating, but we're gonna be climbing up. It's all right, we're one and one at the minute. Things are looking good for the rest of the week, especially if we activate the buttons, we get some good other picks if we want, of course. Um, it should be quite good though. And excuse the, uh, the cycling shirt. I cycle to and from work now. So I got like a seven, seven and a half mile cycle there and seven and a half miles cycle back every every day and um yeah i've just got home and um i needed to do today's episode so here we are i didn't really change i haven't had time to shower i needed to get this done so i was like i'll just sit down i hope you guys don't mind and gives you a little insight into <laughs> how busy i am at the minute but it's looking like we're gonna take a little bit longer to find our first opponent than I would have liked. So what we'll do is we will just cut this now and we'll come back as soon as we find that first opponent of today. Ah, but, hey, coming away. There we go, we got a first opponent. They just heard us and, ooh, this looks like, this looks like a very fun team and one that we recognize from a good friend, Graham, from Australia. I think he finished second at the recent uh, North American International Championships. I think this is his team, or a similar team to his. So it'll be very good to uh, to play against this and see how our team can match up against it. Um, 
Okay, so we've got the Meta Champ. It's going to be the Mega of the team. Then you've got Lunala Kyogre. We know how good and formidable that pairing is. Lunala can have the speed control there, the tailwind to support that Kyogre predominantly. It can go Trick Room as well. Um, but we, in, in this team, you're going to go Tailwind, aren't you? And then you've got the Tapu Koko, the Lele with the terrain controls there. And then the Nihiligo that gives a lot of coverage against things that give this team a really hard time. So what are we going to do? Um, I think... Oh, the uh, the Lunala is a bit of a problem because we've got the T-Tall to cover it, but the one thing that is a bit of an issue is um, the Medichamp that gives us a lot of issues. I'm going to lead Sylvian and I'm going to lead Tyranitar. Because of the Tapu uh, the, 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 the Kyogre and the Tapus, I'm definitely bringing Bulu here. And I think, do we want Chimeko or do we want Necrozma? Necrozma feels like the better one to bring here. Um, so that's where we're going to go. And <clears throat> let's get into it. Good luck to my opponent. We've got no speed control, but <sighs> who needs speed control when you've got things like Assault Vest, Tapu Bulu and... Carmine Necrozma and Scarfed Sylvian. Scarfed Sylvian. We can wreck that Medichamp. There we go. There's the lead. There's the lead. Okay. So this isn't too bad. If things work out, we're going to see a fake out from somewhere. For sure. It's going to have to be into that Tyranitar, I would imagine. We'll probably see... <clears throat> um, well, I'm going to Hyper Voice. No, I'm not going to Hyper Beam. I'm going to Hyper Voice. And I'm going to Mega Evolve. And I'm going to Crunch. Like, if the Medichamp doesn't fake out Sylveon here, then... Like, if it doesn't fake out the T-Tar, you would imagine it fakes out the T-Tar to protect the Lunala. Um, but it might just attack. Thinking, oh, I'm faster. I'm faster, faster, faster. Not expecting the Scarf from the Sylveon. Like, who would expect Scarfed on the Sylveon? We could get a double knockout here if we don't see the fake out. If it's not utilized, we can really punish my opponent because a Hyper Voice will take down this Medichamp. Let's see, come on, pray for it, guys. No, fake out! Hyper Voice, can we get it? <laughs> we get it! <laughs> okay, there's a Tailwind, there's a Tailwind. Come on, Tita. Let's show your muscle. Let's get rid of this Lunala. The Shadow Shield is bust, so we're definitely picking up the knockout here. My opponent's probably sitting there thinking, what? What? What just happened? Scoff Sylvian. Who plays Scoff Sylvian? We do. Heck yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> this is this is this is how we want it to always go. But we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves because how many times last week have we been in this situation where we're like Ah, oh, things are going great. Things are amazing for us. And uh, all of a sudden, <clears throat> things go really badly for us. <clears throat> so, we need to we need to just take our time here. Try and stall out this Tailwind. That's the big thing. Preserve our Tapu Bulu and try and get rid of that Nihiligo. Because that's that's the big the problem at the minute. Um, right. Do we just bring in Necrozma? Uh, no, because Necrozma can do decent stuff against... I might sack Sylvian here and just go for a Hyper Voice. We'll probably lose Sylvian to a combination of attacks. Um, mm, or do we? Do we, do we, do we? Because Sylvian could be good late game to come in, especially with the Hyper Voice. Uh, we're going to see a Sludge Bomb here. I'm going to bring in Necrozma. And I'm just going to protect Tyranitar. <sighs> we might lose Necrozma here. We may lose Necrozma. It's just we're lacking protect. Oh, like, like pretty much all over the team. Acid Spray. Oh no. That's not what we want to see. Especially when a Water Spout's going to come out right now. Yeah, we're done for. And there's no way we take a minus two water spout from a Kyogre. Nah. Hmm. I wonder if it's... Is it Scarf Nihiligo? It won't be Scarf Nihiligo. No way. No way. Um, let's bring in Boodoo. Uh, this is like this is the this is the one where it's like uh, this is not going so well. 
Because a water spout gets Tito no matter what. I, there's no way we take a full power water spout. Um, hmm. Do you acid spray the Bulu? I think we could probably take an acid spray. Um, we're probably better off wood hammering the Nilego though than the Kyogre. Oh, are we? No, we're not. We're definitely not. We're better off wood hammering the Kyogre and going super power into the Nilego in case. There's no way you protect here though. The acid spray again. Do we take an acid spray? And the water. Oh, I don't think we take an acid spray, do we? Nah. Not even with the assault vest. I don't think so. Somehow Bulu might do it. No. <clears throat> Man. This is where the team kind of falls apart a little bit. I get celebrating like too early on. We're so weak. We needed to um, definitely bring a trick room here. But then against that lead, I don't know how we'd... <sighs> yeah, I don't know if we, c we could afford to do that. I mean, Tito Chimeco, could we have done that? Uh, we can't. We can't do anything now. Uh, we can try and hyper beam. We're just going to get acid sprayed though, and water spouted once again. Oh no, we're not. We're not going to. We're not going to see that. We're going to see Kyogre protect, and there's the acid spray this time. Super effective. Well, at least we can get a hyper beam off, and we might be able to get the Kyogre because the tailwind does. Is the tailwind pitted out, or will it? Uh, yeah, yeah, pit is out now. I don't kind of understand that protect there, but I guess you want to just get scout out what the Sylvian's going to do, I guess. But we'll see what a hyper beam does to this Kyogre. Be nice if it KO'd. I don't think it does. Kyogre's too bulky. Yeah, I mean, too, too much. This should take us down. Okay, okay, okay. We get carried away again and it all happens. But I mean, very fun game. Very fun game. So, cubing away or cubbing away. Very good game to you, my friend. Uh, <clears throat> nice team as well. Very nice team. Um, yeah, just... <sighs> we need a trick room. 100%. Uncategorically need a trick room. Um, ah. <sighs> It's yeah, there's no there's no argument. It's just against that Lunala Medichamp lead. I mean what do we do there? Cause if we lead Chimeco, we get faked out. The tailwind gets set up. I mean if we lead Tito, you get faked out, and then you probably get Z moved. Uh they probably don't set the tailwind up straight away. So and then the next turn. So we don't get the trick room up regardless. It's kind of difficult when we don't have fake out or redirection in our team to help us get this trick room up. And this is what you kind of, when you're looking at building hard trick room teams, you kind of always need these these techs to support ways to get the trick room up um, or have really solid options against uh, the common things in the format to really put on uh, offensive pressure to split decisions uh, where opponent has to split their decisions. So you're going to get a knockout um, and this is like the hyper offensive side of it with a trick room switch. So you're either going to get a knockout where they can shut down that knockout potentially, but if they do that, then you set up the trick room and then you're you're good to go forward. Or um, or, or they stop the trick room set up and then they lose something that could potentially be the thing that helps stop that trick room the next turn. So it's it's a bit of a double edged sword, but it's hard finding those options when we've we've got a wheel of fortune deciding our fate. But we're not going to let it get to us. We've got our next opponent. Same core, isn't it? But we'll see how we can get on against this one. We know our lessons from the last one. Let's get into team preview. So, Sara is our next opponent running a team of Tapu Koko, Tapu Fini, Kyogre, Metagross, Lunala, and Snorlax. So, you would imagine here, rather than a, a Tailwind variant, which it could be, it could be Tailwind. I would say it would be more um, Trick Room. Or we could see something like an explosion Snorlax, which wouldn't surprise me in the slightest, uh, if I'm completely honest. I think we need to have a way to get around that Kyogre for sure. So having some sort of um, trick room 
We we one hundred percent need. Um, maybe Articuno could be good here. We haven't brought Articuno yet, so Articuno, I'm gonna bring. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring Articuno. We've got to be careful around the Tapacoco and the Metagross, but we're gonna feature it. Uh, we'll go Articuno. We will go Articuno, and we will go. Hmm, what's that other one? Sylvian. It's not faster than Tapacoco though. That's the problem. Um. We could go for Chimeco. Yeah, let's go Chimeco. Let's go Tapu Buru that we're going to need. And let's go Necrozma as well. Because we need our Restricted, right? We need our Restricted. Only having one Restricted. It's kind of tough. We've been pretty lucky though with the wheel. I mean, at least we're getting one Restricted. Like the last two weeks, we've... We've spun the wheel at the start of the week, and we've had a restricted both times. Uh, last week we got the Sogaleo, which was which is really nice. They put in a lot of work. This week, <clears throat> um, we've had obviously the uh, uh, the the Necrozma. Sorry, I'm just looking gormlessly at the uh, the type of Snorlax lead from my opponent, thinking about what we can do. I'm going to switch out. Articuno, I'm going to bring in Tapu Bulu, and I think what we'll do... Could we go for Blind Hypnosis into the Snorlax? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. I could just protect Chimeco here, but I don't really feel too threatened with what my opponent's going to do, and I kind of want to shut down what the Snorlax is about to do. It could go Belly Drum. Which would not be so good. So if we can try and stop that, that would be great. There's a T-Bolt. Oh! Gonna avoid the uh, the old uh, Articuno on it, uh, and just go straight for the Chimeco. We'll get the Blind Hypnosis. Chimeco's just a, a badass Pokemon, isn't it? It's just so good, so good. Um, okay, let us go for a. Hmm, do we just Horn Leech? Uh, a Wood Hammer. Wood Hammer Horn Leech. Hmm. We could superpower the Snorlax. Um, I'm going to Nature's Madness, the Snorlax, just to get some nice damage onto it. And I think what we'll do is... Could we get it? I don't really want to get a Trick Room up when the Snorlax is on the field. That's the only thing. But I feel like if we're going to go Trick Room, it's probably our only time to do it now. Um, although it's, it's pretty, pretty dangerous. I'm just going to go Hypnosis into the Coco slot. Yeah, we'll go for that. Volt switch. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Not doing too much. Chimeco's actually not, like, too bad bulk-wise either. It can take hits. It can definitely take hits. And what comes in? If we can put whatever comes in to sleep, that would be nice. And if Snorlax stays asleep, it's a sleeping Pokemon. It loves sleeping. It's definitely going to take three turns of sleep. Uh, the Metagross coming in. Okay. That's fine. It's just madness. Yep, we do hit. Great stuff. Do we proc a berry? We probably do. Ooh, just above. Oh, we miss. How sad. How sad. That was very sad. But um, the thing is, like, Met uh, Metagross does put a lot of pressure onto the type of bully now. Um, the Snorlax actually has leftovers, interestingly enough. Um, hmm. Could we bring in Necrozma now? It's probably better to take an Iron Head, I guess. And, um... Mm, yeah, we'll go for another Hypnosis. Yeah. It kind of indicates maybe the Snorlax isn't a Belly Drum set. Well, it's definitely not a Belly Drum set. If it's got leftovers, it'd make more sense if it was like a Curse Lax, potentially. We're going to see Tepacoco come back in. Try and get around this Hypnosis spam from Chimeco. Um, and probably biding its time until Snorlax wakes up, to be honest. Uh, we do get blocked by. Yeah, there's the, the Wake Up Fire Punch coming out into the Cosma. Okay, I'm not going to do too much, but because of the leftovers, it's getting all that health back that we got with that nature's madness. So, I think it's a good time now just to get a calm mind up with Necrozma, and we'll bring Tapu Bulu back in for this Chimeco. Keep Chimeco around for later, because once we get rid of the Snorlax, that's when we can set a Trick Room up, and uh, we can potentially do some stuff. Like, we know the type of call call we're going to be underspeeding in the Trick Room, the Metagross as well. Uh, and it's probably Kyogre in the back. 
Um, so my opponent, that's probably why they brought the Metagross, makes sense, so you've got a way to check the Bulu that threatens the the the, the, uh, the Kyogre so hard, but maybe it's Lunala, who knows. But we get the Calm Mind up with Anacrosma, we're going to see the Fire Punch from the Snorlax, it's going to be into our Bulu. Doing a bit more damage than we would have liked, and picking up the burn there, that is devastating, and we're going to see a roll from the Coco, just waste. All of our time. Oh, the Kuna gonna come back in. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, that burn is really, really frustrating. Like, really frustrating. Um. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I need to get rid of the Coco, to be honest. That's the Pokemon I need to get rid of. Um. <sighs> okay, let's get Necrozma back in. And. Uh, oh man. Let's just go Wood Hammer into Coco and hope that we can get some damage onto it. The Bulu is pretty useless to us now, other than the terrain. It's not useless to us, but it's not really going to be putting on the offensive pressure like we needed to. We're going to see Gigavolt Havoc now come out from the Coco. It's likely going to be into that Articuno slot. Um, if Bulu hadn't been burnt, uh, it would have been so much better. We could have like horn leeched the, the Snorlax every turn, or just targeted down this core call. Because uh, Articuno gave us like a surefire way to deal with the. Um... Oh man, so much damage. At least we proc that berry though, so get all that health back. Really, I'm gonna get this wood hammer off into core call and still. Still do a respectable amount of damage for sure, and the fire punch now coming out, and that will pick up the knockout. But we can get Chimeco back in, I guess. And probably get a trick room up and um, go for an earth power into the core core, which would we'll be able to get rid of it. And if the Metagross comes in that slot, then the only thing is we lose Bulu now, which was a good answer to Kyogre. But that means we're going to have to rely a little bit more on our Articuno and our. Shikolds. Okay. Can we get a blind hypnosis onto the Snorlax? Maybe. I'm gonna just earth power the Coco and I'm gonna hypnosis this Snorlax. See if we can hit once again. Third time, lucky, maybe. Volt switch, yep. If it's a Metagross coming in, that's I don't mind that too much at all, because two earth powers should get it. Might be the Kyogre, you know. Maybe. Oh no, it's a Metagross. It's not Mega either at the minute, so probably will take a little bit more damage. Not being Mega. But maybe that was the turn where we went for the Trick Room. But it, I mean, if we get the Hypnosis here, which we do, I mean, it pays off massively, doesn't it? Pays off massively. So, um, hmm. Yeah, and this grassy terrain really helping out with our recovery. Uh, we should be able to get the Metagross now with an Earth Power. The Snorlax is just sitting here, just getting its health back. But I don't really mind it sitting there doing all of that at the minute. Um, do we Trick Room now? Because we could Trick Room, potentially. Z Trick Room. Just the Snorlax are being a, a, an amazing place to start taking us apart. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want to. Uh, we probably do want a Trick Room, actually. Because it gives us a surefire way to get rid of... Okay, this probably works out really good. If the Metagross um, attacks the Chimeco, obviously that, that makes a big difference. Um, okay, we actually got the speed it. I don't know what it was going to be doing. So, we are going to be able to get our Trick Room up. You know that Snorlax is going to have a guaranteed sleep. No, it's going to. It's slept once. Okay. So, you're going to get a Trick Room up. Ah, oh, we should have Z Trick Roomed. We're fools. We're fools. Uh, but it doesn't matter, really, because now we've got the Z Move that we can we can utilize, actually, which isn't as bad. It's actually Lunala. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oof, oof, oof indeed. 
Uh, we, I think we have to calm mind and go for the Psyche Meme Z, the Shattered Psyche into the Coco. Now, we couldn't nab the KO onto Amoongus, but the Coco, who is like such a, a frail Pokemon anyway, it's below half health. You've got to think that we are going to be able to at least pick up a knockout from here. Come on, Chimeco. Let's do this. Let's get revenge for that Amoongus yesterday. Can we do it? Come on. <laughs> yes, yes. Chimeco. <laughs> for the win. Oh, okay. We get the calm mind up. It puts us in a little bit more better position. <sighs> Not the best though. We still got Articuno to come in our secret weapon. We still got Articuno. Where are you going, Lunala, with this attack? Please be into Chimeco. Come on. Come on. Okay, it's into the Cosmo. I mean, we take that pretty well, don't we? Take it. It's not bad. Um. Ah, uh, the Lunala feels like it's going to be very difficult to deal with. Um. But we're better off, I think. Um. Yeah, Earth powering the Lunala. We can psychic it as well. We cannot. I mean, one of the things we could potentially do. Well, we're probably better off just breaking a Shadow Shield with a Psychic and then getting an Earth Power into it. Snorlax woke up! No! Oh, come on, Snorlax. Sleeps, one turn sleeps every time. Every time. Okay, we're going to have to rely on some sheer cold action, but we still got um, the Trick Room still up, which isn't ideal at all. Please hang on, Necrozma, please hang on. Three, three HP. Okay, okay. Now, can we? How many turns have we got left? I don't know if we're going to be able to mind reader this. We got two. If we can get a sheer cold into that Lunala now, I'm going to protect, and I'm going to sheer cold. I mean, I could just go double protect. Double protect, and then the trick room window the next turn. Forget, nah, 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 nah. Let's just do this. Um, do I mind reader though? It's just whether or not we're faster than the Lunala. I don't think we're gonna be. That's the thing. I'm gonna have to lock in. I, I, oh, I think I've double protected. Uh, too much time wasting. I can't make my mind up. Yeah, we double protect. Okay. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It is if we see. Okay, fire punch and one guy's beam. Okay, not the worst. Not the worst, but not the best either. We would have been better going for sheer cold there into Lunala. Um. Okay. Let's have no fear. Let's have no fear. Let's go for a Photon Geyser into the Snorlax and go for a Sheer Cold into Lunala. Yeah. I'm going to be sad if the Lunala is like slower than our Articuno. Oh, we get burned! What the? Every time, every time, the Snorlax burns everything. Okay. There's a Photon Geyser. Do nice damage. Night Days. Okay. Come on, Sheer Cold. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Come on. No! Oh. But we're faster than Lunala, which is annoying because we could have went for that Mind Reader. Um. Okay. I'm going to have to. I think the Fire Punch probably takes us down with the Burn. That's my only gripe. So we've got to go for the sheer cold into the Lunala and hope. Ah, oh, every time, every time. Okay. That time it would have hit as well. Yeah, and then the burn gets us. Oh, and that is the end to that. It could have been such a fairy tale ending. 
but the Snorlax with its hot fire punches kept burning everything. I'm not going to put it down to that, obviously. It did ha oh, it did hurt our Tapu Bulu for sure. Um, and the Articuno. We're playing the guessing game there, like max speed Lunala, which you kind of would expect it to be. Um, would outspeed us. And unfortunately, it didn't. We could have went for the Mind Reader and then the, the shit called the next turn, but we didn't go for that, so we didn't end up winning. I'm very sad. I'm very sad because we could have had a nice win there, but we'll just continue on tomorrow. Maybe we activate some buttons. Like I said earlier, guys, if you'd like to see some of those buttons activated tomorrow, do let me know down in the comment section below, and we'll make sure to get those activated and maybe switch some things up. Or we keep with this team for at least one more day. And we see if we can get this Articuno gone. But that is that. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Remember to drop a like if you enjoy this sort of content. Do subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below. And I will look forward to catching up with you all very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.